welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today was meant to be a zara haul i put in actually a couple of orders from zara i'm still waiting on delivery of one of the parcels so that's gonna have to be delayed but not to worry i did pop into iceland this morning well actually i went into the range which our the range has iceland so i went and did a bit of a food shop and whilst i was there picked up some bits that i thought I would share with you guys as today's video instead of my Zara haul. So that video will be coming, so stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on watching my upcoming Zara haul. This jumper, by the way, I got this in my last, last but one video, my Tesco's haul, which quite a few of you really liked and also love shopping FNF clothing. Now, I didn't know, you can actually order on Next. You can order FNF. I did find the matching joggers in my size so I now have the full set and it is lovely I'm really impressed with Tesco so if you want to watch that video if you missed it I'll leave it linked down in the description box below but anyway today we are on to the range slash couple of bits from Iceland that's a couple of things I actually need to put away in the freezer and fridge that I wanted to share with you I did get more but I'm just going to show you the bits that I think you guys would be interested in I actually had Greg's for my lunch yesterday and they do Greg's the Greg's range at Iceland which is naughty but I couldn't help myself so these are two pounds each and these are my all-time favorite breakfast pastry the bacon and cheese wraps are so good so this is actually a two pack and then also i love a cheese and onion bake that's what i had yesterday for my lunch so i got a two pack of that and then the sausage rolls come in a four pack and they do have the vegan ranges as well oh my god this was actually in my tesco's haul we've already demolished it so i bought another one i swore even tom likes this and he's not really a white chocolate lover he doesn't hate it but he would never opt for it but this he was like yeah if you see that again buy it again they do go pretty quickly if you just have a little bit with your coffee a couple of times a day it soon goes and speaking of easter chocolate unpopular opinion or maybe popular opinion who knows let me know in the comments down below i prefer easter chocolate to christmas chocolate Oh, I'm actually going to open this one now because this was in the fridge. This is the Starbucks Cafe Latte Chill Blend of Bold Espresso and Creamy Milk. These were £1.50. You can tell there's a lot of sugar in these. And then I did also pick up these which I'll put in the fridge for a rainy day. The Costa Coffee ones. I've actually never tried these ones before. So this is the regular latte and a caramel latte. 250 ml nice for a little afternoon treat and then for our grind grind filter coffee machine i bought some ground coffee the cost coffee ones are actually really good they're usually about three pounds this is the mocha italia signature blend whether or not this is chocolatey i don't know but um either way i'm gonna love it a couple of impulse purchases on the checkout again more easter chocolate i saw these dairy milk bunnies in vanilla flavor mousse and also orange chocolate i will love these i love these as like a little afternoon treat with a coffee because they're quite a good size and then last couple of bits that i got from iceland were this nando's popo marinade in medium i didn't realize they did the actual marinades not in store so this was i think it was about one pound fifty and then i've been dying to get on the tiktok trend of the tortilla wrap sandwich type thing toasted sandwich where you cut an incision to halfway and then you fill it with four different kind of fillings sweet or savory i'm thinking more savory so like cheese i saw one with bacon brie and cranberry that looked really good so i might try that one out one pound for a pack of eight and then onto the range i did get some really nice homeware pieces which i can't wait to style up once we've renovated um, but i did also pick up barney my little golden retriever puppy some bits as well this is going to be for easter I'm going to save this so that you can have a nice little Easter picture. It's a cute little bunny called Bella. It was $3.99 and he loves soft toys. These are the sort of toys that he doesn't rip apart. He gets his mouth around their mouth and just sucks on it and like pours the bed when he's falling asleep. It's so cute. Anyway, I picked this one up for him. It does have a squeaker. I also picked this one up for him. I've been trying to find the Kong for puppies, you know, the ones where they can get the treats out of the middle of it. 
and I just the puppy ones seem to be sold out everywhere I guess it's because of the rise of demand for puppies over lockdown um, but I did find the Kong Wobbler which again you can put some treats in and it just more wobbles around rather than them actually being able to get their tongue inside it they have to like kind of pour it to get the treats to fall out so I've been using a plastic water bottle for that which has worked perfectly fine to be completely honest with you but I don't know there's just something about using something that's not designed for dogs that I'm always a little bit like cautious of and always watching him so I feel a bit more comfortable being able to leave this with him I do have a licky mat though and he really likes that especially when we've bathed him we stick it to the bath and this is a specific doggy peanut butter so I know that it's going to be safe for him it does say for uh, dogs over three months now he is three months in fact, by the time you're watching this video, he is three months today, 12 weeks. So uh, yeah, that will be fine for him. And this is kind of more home decor for me, but I love the color of it. It's a little cream tin with a cute little design on the front with some paw prints and it says treats. So we can just pop in his little treats for when we go out and about on walkies, which we're now allowed to do. 3.99, I thought, I know, I really like the look of that. And eventually when we have a nice utility slash dog room, this will look good on display. I did also get a couple of grooming products. The ones that I currently have from Kiehl's, they don't say whether they're suitable for puppies or not. And although I have used them and I think they're okay, I'm just, for peace of mind, I wanted to get puppy specific ones. And these were super affordable as well. So this is from Pride and Groom. It's a mild and gentle puppy shampoo. And then this one is the Puppy Fresh Freshness Spray that you can spritz in between washing. And then for our washing machine, I have actually used one of these before. He, he's not shedding too much because he's still just a puppy. It's only like little bits of hair and I do brush him every day. Uh, but this will be really good for when we wash his bed. I use this. It's got three sachets in this box. And it's from Van Moosh and it's their pet hair dissolver, little sachets that you just put in the tray where you would put your normal powder detergent. Oh, and then the last doggy friendly products that I got are these scented dog bubbles in peanut butter scent. And I just thought that'd be a fun little exercise to do with him. Obviously we'll document it over on my Instagram. Well, I say my Instagram, his Instagram, which let me be honest, I've never been more active on Instagram than on his Instagram, just because I love capturing every moment and that will be my kind of place where all his memories of growing up will be. So if you wanna follow him, he's Barney the Great Golden on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, I'll be sure to show you guys him loving these, I'm sure. And then a couple of really gorgeous homeware products that I picked up. Firstly, this uh, photo frame. I think these photos or prints that are inside it have slightly dislodged, but they're actually really pretty. They're just little feather designs with little quotes on happiness is being in love, life, oh no, live the life you love and love it is all you need. This is only 3 dollars and I just love the kind of metal frame design. I'm not so sure on this string, I think that... <laughs> anyway, I was saying I'm not so sure on the uh, jute string. String. I think I would maybe even get rid of that and have it as a kind of standing to layer up in front of another piece of artwork and just leaning. Uh, but yeah, 3 dollars I had to pick that up. I thought that was a bargain. And then I also picked up this. We're going to have lots of new places to style up once we've renovated this house. So as and when I'm seeing things, rather than finishing the renovations and going out shopping and spending a load more on home decor, I'm just picking things as and when I see them. So I saw this and I thought this was beautiful. It's just a kind of cream beige vase with this beautiful kind of texture to it. And I love this kind of handle design. So I picked this one up at $11.99 really good generously sized vase as well will fill a space for sure and then i always see these in the range and absolutely love them 8.99 they're the ceramic artichokes quite heavy i did think about getting two of these to maybe have them styled as like kind of like bookends but then I thought, well, maybe more styling shelves it might be better to just get the ones. So anyway, I've got the one for now. They have had these in for quite a while. So I feel confident that by the time we renovated, if I do decide I want to pick up a second, there's a good chance they'll have one. But if not, at least I've got the one. $8.99 this one is. And I just think they're really pretty. Very Neptune home. Neptune home actually sell artichokes, ceramic artichokes 
quite a bit more than eight pounds so yeah bargain so they have a range i don't know if it's new or not but it's called the tea and crumpets collection and it's very i want to say emma bridgewater inspired the font and everything that they've got on the plates the bowls the placemats they've got everything is very emma bridgewater and very kind of farmhouse style as well so i didn't need a full set of crockery but i did pick up this cute little milk jug and it's a good little sized jug to be able to have milk or cream in i guess if you've got dessert out and you just want cream on the table i also got these stay fresh stretch lids from creative a pack of four reusable silicon lids that lock in the freshness this was by one of those stands that they have like the interactive tv ad commercial type thing which i would never normally be suckered into but i actually thought these were pretty good value for money they were 4.99 and i had some from ikea that was smaller sized and i'm pretty sure they were that price anyway and they were multicolored, so these are just plain and simple white which i love so yeah i picked up them for oil diffusers and aromatic diffusers that i can put in the bedrooms in here i did pick up some more oils that they had they had three different sets of different scents i went for this set of three because i thought it would be most like me in terms of using these in a bedroom with my new little white company diffuser i it's like a portable one that you can take to different bedrooms so this is in the sense coastal breeze fresh linen and cotton blossom so good bedroom sense i feel and again super affordable at just a couple of pounds they had loads of the floors and in particular loads of christmasy ones still not on sale or anything unfortunately but i thought i would stock up anyway because they are some of my favorite scents so I've got the festive fireside and the sparkling spruce. I was very tempted for the winter morning because that's good to use throughout winter as well. And I did miss out this year on the frosted peppermint. So if ever I see that in stores over the next few weeks, I'm buying it even though Christmas is long gone. I picked up one of these for the bathroom in a nice new fresh scent. I had one at Christmas in the spiced apple, which they did actually have in store as well. And I do like it, but I did just want to maybe switch it up with a nice new fresh scent. So I went for cotton fresh, it's really good. This will be good in the upstairs bathroom again with that cotton fresh. I feel like it's good for towards the bedrooms. This would be good for an ensuite when we eventually build them. Oh, I missed one food item from the Iceland section. Pancake day is fast approaching. I'm sure I will be making pancakes from fresh with Tom. But if he happens to be out and about or away or working on pancake day, I'm just gonna do the lazy option. So these last for ages. Their sell by dates are usually years away. Yeah, May 2022 and they're only a pound. So it'll get used no matter what. Mm, you know that's a treat you can taste the sweetness i picked up a minky obviously valentine's day you know in fact by the time you're watching this is valentine's day so happy valentine's day to everyone out there singletons loved up couples happy valentine's day to you uh so i picked up the love heart one they do have another one coming out i don't know if they're in stores yet but it's comes with a little mini minky which is so adorable and then i also picked up these which i've never tried before it's from osmo which i really like that brand and they do like bin deodorizers fridge and microwave cleaners so they now have a vacuum freshener ideal for bagless vacuums there are four doses in here that you simply just pop in your vacuum and it helps it keep it fresh this fabulosa i'm not usually a fabulosa fan i'm not gonna lie i'm much prefers a flora but the scent of this does it remind you of anything? Lime, basil, and mandarin. Joe Malone dupe, potentially. Let's have a whiff. Mmm, definitely doesn't smell like Joe Malone, but it does smell very citrusy and fresh, so good for like spring cleaning, I feel. And this is the Dazzling Bathroom Spray, so good and ideal for use in the bathroom, which I feel like lime, basil, and mandarin is a good scent combo for a bathroom. Okay, and then last but not least, a fun little item to just have in our front room whilst I'm watching TV in an evening. You guys know I like to do stuff like, whether it's little puzzles, words such as Sudokus, or like journaling, um, coloring. I also, throw back to my childhood, loved engraving art. So I picked up this little mini one with a wolf design on the front. Does anyone else remember these? I feel like 90s kids will know what I'm talking about when I show them this. It was only a pound, fun little exercise to do. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up from the range. Sorry I didn't have 
Zara haul ready and waiting for you but be sure to subscribe and that will be coming soon I hope you guys did enjoy this video nonetheless give it a thumbs up if you did all my socials will be linked down below if you did want to follow myself and Barney and the home over on Instagram for more regular daily updates then be sure to check us out over on there thank you so much for watching have a lovely rest of your day whatever it is that you're doing sending you all my love thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys